Hertfordshire countryside near Elstree live Trevor Horn and Jill Sinclair, a record producer and his wife who own Britain's most bizarre and successful new record label, Zang Tung Tung. As a performer with the quirky Buggles, Trevor once recorded a tribute to Elstree's film studios. As a producer, he's been responsible for just three albums by Yes, Malcolm McLaren and ABC that have sold six million. He's become a specialist in the art of noise. This bit's good. This week, he's been recording again with his label's most controversial band, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. A lot of people have got misconceptions about what a record producer does. They think that the record producer works the desk, or they think that he pushes faders and things like that. But in actual fact, record, I mean, you can see all of this equipment. I, I don't uh, touch anything. Maybe I twiddle the occasional knob. In a way, I am the artist's uh, puppet, because they come to me with their ideas, and I use all of this and, and all of my experience to make whatever dreams they have or whatever ideas they have come true. Why why did the Frankies sign to ZTT? Well, <laughs> no one would touch us with a barge <laughs> pole. <laughs> no, that, it sounded quite exciting, Zang Tum Tum, because I think uh, Trevor and Paul and Wally were trying to uh, recreate a kind of uh, Motown thing, something with a definite sound that was kind of modern and kind of forward-looking. We're at the start of a new era in recording because you have a guy playing a bass guitar. It, it's not necessary that he plays the bass guitar. We can, we can basically, we can do anything with sound. You can do anything with sound? Yes, we can do anything with any, sound. Any, we can do any, anything. We can do anything with, with sound. With sound. With sound. Yes, yes, yes. Trevor Horn started trying to do anything with sound in 1979 in the duo The Buggles, who gave Island Records their first ever number one with Video Killed the Radio Star. A year later, Horn did something even more unexpected. He joined Yes, that supergroup from the 70s, as their singer performing at vast venues like New York's Madison Square Gardens. Then came the move to record producer, and now there's ZTT, with Frankie Goes to Hollywood repeating the Buggles trick of an unknown band reaching number one. Horn's new headquarters is just off the Portobello Road in London. Once a waxworks factory, the building was turned into recording studios by Island Records. Island let the Horns take over in return for releasing their ZTT label on the understanding that this would be no ordinary record company. It's different because everything is run by a top record producer and just two others, and because that producer has decided to work not with the already rich and successful, but with unknown bands. The new acts that come along, the kids who have all the best ideas, very rarely get a hold of a good producer, you know, because there aren't that many good producers around, and the ones that are around are very expensive. And so I thought it would be really unusual to actually go back to produce people who, who were just, you know... Who were making their, bands. Yeah, making their first record. In a way, it was more exciting, the idea of it. And it all came together at one time. Pop music's about sex and about reproduction and about finding a mate and, and really... So you want to see sexy people, you know, people that you would like to mate with because the kids who buy records are between the ages of about 12 and 25 and mating is all that they have on their mind. So, they, so you know... I mean, somebody like Rod Stewart always, to me, looks like a dirty old uncle, and I thought Frankie looked much healthier on top of the pops. They were just sort of raw lust, you know, of a very healthy variety. I'll deliver it to them, uh, you know, being realistic, a fortnight and Friday. The board meeting at Zang Tum Tum would probably make CBS or EMI shudder. I hope that you might use that Sami's week for mixing it, you see. Well, for finishing it off I, I, mixing. I have I'm, 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 All decisions from who gets recorded to how they're publicised, are taken by just three people. There's Trevor, the house producer, his wife, who looks after business, and music journalist Paul Morley, credited with putting the naughty lyrics on the relaxed record cover sleeve. Savage and saucy, as opposed A move which, by this week, had helped the record sell a million in Britain alone. ZTT's board meetings seem like musical debates in which Jill tries to stop the other two getting too far out of hand. 
they can go off to a CBS or whatever, who we all agree they would never... Off, but I'm in the group. How can they go off without me? You get everybody to sign a waiver. Oh, I don't understand it. God. The man without shadow comes the world. After the success of The Art of Noise in America and Frankie Goes to Hollywood here, the third ZTT hit is by German band Propaganda, who broke into the British charts this week with The Nine Lives of Dr. Mabuse. But there's a problem. Trevor and Paul have had an arty video made. Jill is worried it won't get shown. Why are we now doing another video for Propaganda? Because the first one that we've done is too arty for everybody. Well, they keep saying it's are... too arty and they won't show it because it doesn't, you know, it's not a kind of pop sort of, I you know. I think, as a matter of principle, we, sh we cannot make videos. We're not here as, as, as the Arts Council, you know. Jill is the least known of the three, but at times she seems the most powerful. <laughs> I think the problem is that they're both still very idealistic. And even though that's wonderful, in the end event, you know, we're in business. Is it difficult being married to Trevor, managing him, working in this uh, company together? I mean, how do you separate your home life from business meetings like the one today? It could be a problem, but it isn't in our relationship because we're very fortunate that we don't do the same thing again. We do do very different things, and so one feeds the other, and he will stay up until 3 in the morning listening to a mix, and when I get up at 7.30 with the children, he'll say, You've got to stop them, you know, sort of turn over in bed and say, you've got to stop the pressing, the mix is wrong. I mean, this actually happened, you know. Trevor produces the records, Jill does the finances. What's your role? It's very abstract. I think I do a lot of thinking. Uh, I think I designed the label in itself. I mean, ZTT is probably an entertainment in itself. It's like, you know, Trevor and Jill have signed something to their business enterprise, which is ZTT, and I, I perform a certain public uh, You become a sort of public face. I think so, yeah. And that's unusual for a record label, but I think important, because otherwise you just become another record label, and there are so many of them that the last thing you want to be is another record label. Holly, we'll give it, we'll give it a try right now. Now, if it goes wrong, if you, miss, if you miss a cue, we'll just stop it and do it again. It doesn't matter. And the next stage towards making back all that money and making ZTT a major concern is the second Frankie single due for release in a fortnight. It's called Two Tribes, it's about war, not sex, and in its unfinished state in the studio this week, it sounded like this.